Okay. You've chosen death. So this story takes place when I was probably around 14 or 15 years old. Unlike most first five stories, it all starts in school. I can't really remember what exactly started the fight, but I do know this. School just closed and I was walking back home. When this dude comes out of nowhere and is like, I wasn't joking when I said you and I were gonna settle this outside. Wait, what? So apparently this dude was beefing with me over something I can't even remember and he kept going on and on about it. Dude, chill and he's like, no. Let's settle this right now. Take off your clothes. You and I will kind of stop. Let's go. I could tell that he really wanted to fight. So I said the only reasonable thing I could say in a situation like that. Can we do this another time? I gotta go home and watch the newest episode of Spongebob, man. And I walked away. But this guy had other plans for me. I hear footsteps. Then I feel this sudden breeze behind my neck. Cause apparently this guy tried to swing a punch while I had my back turned. So I'm like, okay, you've chosen death. I channel in all my anger into my right hand, make a fist, and with every muscle in my body, I swing a precisely well calculated punch to his face. The idea was that if I'm gonna fight this guy, I want it to be done quick. Like my first punch should instantly knock him out. So here's the problem, I've never punched anyone so hard. Cause I think I might have underestimated the amount of force my skinny hand possessed. So now I'm thinking like, what have I done? I must have killed someone's son. There's no possible way this man should be alive. But then I see him with this evil looking smile and I realize that I've messed up. This guy took in everything I had like it was nothing. So I know if I don't do something quick, I'm dead. I look at him one more time, I look at my fist and every fighting scene from all the action packed movies I've ever seen flash before my eyes. I know what must be done. I ran. Yo, I was 14 years old, man, like... Let me give y'all a quick comparison. We're both in the same class and around the same age, but I'm taller than him. So I thought I would have the advantage in a fight, right? But I was wrong. I'm not capping, this boy was built like John Cena, but shorter. <laughs> I'm literally a stick man compared to this dude. So I'm running for my life because, um, I don't want to die. And from the corner of my eye, I see this 3 time heavyweight champion chasing me with full speed. I'm using what little energy I have left to outrun this guy cause I know if he catches me, I won't have enough time to ride my wheel. So at this point I'm trying to use my height to my advantage, stretching my legs to the maximum and he's getting closer and closer. I look at my legs and I realize that my shoelace is untied. So now I'm trying to run carefully cause I don't want to trip on my shoe. Then I made the dumb decision to tie my shoelace while mini John Cena over here is still charging at me with full speed. So I have less than 5 seconds to tie my shoelace or else. But all of a sudden, he stops and instantly turns back. And I see this white jeep from a distance moving so close to the edge of the road. So I'm like, I better move or else this car is gonna... It all happened so fast and I can't even make this up even if I try but it felt like I was two feet away from getting hit by that car. I finally got home and I was just glad I made it back in one piece. But then I realized that I still have to go back to school the next day. Moral of the story, fighting doesn't solve anything and don't run away from a fight or else a white jeep will come after you. <laughs>